Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. We are here at Gritnia Tower, the Twisted Tower, Chapter 28. So it is time, once again, Leanne. We <laughs> it appears that she's finally coming around. We brought this girl here on direct orders from His Majesty. Simple stuff, yes, very easy, very nice. Then he gives all these special commands. Don't let her escape, don't let her get sick, don't let people kill her. More than anyone else, His Highness should know how hard it is to keep one of these birdies healthy. Is there a problem? Eh? Who do you think you are? Why is it you disturb my meditations? I'm thinking here. Um, I'm here to relieve you on guard duty. Standing guard, eh? Don't see much reason for a guard in this place. But armies always have their rules and regulations and appearances and hullabaloo. Ah, oh, no way around it, I suppose. I believe that guards and watches are important. Whee! In other places, yes, but Gritnia Tower is currently overflowing with veteran soldiers. Not to mention those repulsive beasts, those feral ones, you know. Trying to escape from this place is the same as committing suicide. Not that I've tried, mind you. So a watch is necessary. Whee! What's that now? Who said that? Oh, it's you. Important, eh? What's that? Well, if the girl were to leave a room, we would be unable to stop her from getting killed. Ooh, you found a blind spot. That's the problem with us scholars. We concentrate on one thing and miss something as fundamental as... Blast! They're getting riled up again. Listen, you. You stay right there and stand guard. Don't let that Heron girl take one step outside this room. You understand me? I told you we needed guards. Don't worry. I'll take care of everything. Always when I'm in the middle of something. Snaggletooth cheese stealing. <laughs> cheese stealing? Finally, and he thinks that guy fell a little far from the nest. Hello, little herring girl. There's nothing to be afraid of. I won't hurt you. Just sit there and be quiet, all right? So that's Gritney Tower, is it? I believe so. Say, like, there's something really odd about that tower. I mean, really odd. What is it? I sent several of the beast tribe, but what is that? Oh, something smells terrible. The tower holds Lagoos who have been given medicine. These drugs warp their true shape. Are you talking about Lagoos that can't change forms like the ones we fought in Begnian? Yes. Do you know how many and what type are in there? As far as numbers, a conservative, conservative estimate would be 30. Types? There are tigers and cats from the beast tribes, hawks and ravens from the bird tribes, and dragons. There are some of the, from the dragon tribes as well? No more than ten, uh, probably no more than ten. We have to fight ten dragons like you? They are no ma not like me, Master Reich, they are much stronger. That's hardly encouraging. Regardless, we must hurry, it's gonna be dark soon. It's rather embarrassing, but we of the bird tribes don't move well in the dark. Sad but true, of course the same can be said for those on the enemy side as well. On the other hand, darkness means next to nothing for my kind. Depending on who we face, it could prove to be a significant... There are more of the Beast Tribe than any other. It is because we are close to Gallia. Listen, are you sure you want to be on our side? Hmm, yes, of course. That is why I provide accurate info. Nasir, what do you think, Renolf? My grandchild is impressive, is she not? That's not what I was going to say, Grandpa. So once it gets dark, we're going to be at a disadvantage, right? All right, as long as we know that, we can plan for it. You're too calm about this for my taste. This is going to be a... Enough, Renolf. We don't have time for complaints. We need to find the entrance to that tower. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. That took longer than I'd expected, cursed subhumans, flea-bitten wretches. Oh, where's that herring girl and that guard? Hello, guard, bird girl, we just can't know. I've been had, no! What do I do if this is discovered? His Majesty will he'll hang me up by my thumbs. Oh, no. I will not report this. Uh, think, Azuka, think, if I can somehow divert attention from myself. Master Azuka! Gah! Master Azuka, we've got trouble. A strange group of insurgents approaches the tower. They are well armed, sir. Master Azuka. Insurgents? We on the ham, did you say insurgents? Yes, sir, a mixed group of subhumans and humans. I see, I see. Then we must give them a warm reception, no? General Headwind's mages have engaged them, but they're not nearly enough. We must apply to the capital for more reinforcements to 
Release the feral ones. Those monsters, but... No need to worry, I've just given them their medication. They've been trained to not attack any day in soldiers. Very well, I... Do it now! The enemy must not be allowed inside the tower. Wee, what fortuitous timing. Now then, I'll we'll take this moment and prepare to make my escape. What a weird dude. Look at this, will ya? What a glorious mix of birds, beasts, and dragons we have to greet us. King of Hawks, this is no joking matter, they... Hold on, my brothers. Just a little longer soon I will grant you all release. Oh. Tiburn is not the only one who is filled with rage to warp the gift that the goddess has granted us. This crime shall not go unpunished. Prince Raisin. Come, Renolf, let's join them. We must rescue Leanne as soon as possible for Raisin's sake as much as anything else. Those poor Lagoos, someone will die for this today. Alright, choose units. Uh, we have Nasir because we beat the Black Knight. It would be Ana otherwise. Let us get Renolf in the back because he's not going to transform right away. This one, there's a lot of Lagoos to fight, so the Lagoos weapons are definitely to your advantage here. Should be good enough. So yeah, Nasir is a dragon, but he doesn't transform right away. I don't think he has a lot of movement range either. What do you think, Nephany? You can do it, but high chance of taking eight damage. No. She's so close to level 20. Do people watch Let's Plays anymore? It's something that I'm wondering about because I see a lot of people with like struggling to get 500 views. And it used to be easy to get like 5,000 views at least. I'm curious to talk to Nintendo Capri Sun about that, as well as Tyler from Attacking Toucans. We had a, me and Tyler talked a little bit about it, but. He seems more convinced than me that there's still a way to make it big. But it's interesting that he also said that, uh, oh yeah, I have the sleep staff on me. Eh, we don't need to use it on these guys. But yeah, Tyler also said that he can't stand to work only at his computer and he has to always do something else besides Let's Plays. And streaming and stuff. Which is interesting. Because I came at it the other way where I was doing other stuff and uh, the opportunity to do only this was enticing. Mm, not enough. So Boyd could take care of the scraps, but we got to move the front row first. Mm, 
one damage. Nothing to it. Weapon level up! Is that A rank or S rank for him? I wonder. I could check in a minute. So far, so good. Nothing too overly challenging here. Boyd, get a little bit closer and clean up the scraps. I guess we can have Marcia cut across the trees. Hmm, sure. It's not gonna kill him, but... Maybe Janif can get him? Trying to move the crowd. We've got a couple slow stragglers back here. Ah, Ike is in the way. Let's move Ike forward all the way, really. I like that we don't have to worry about him ever. Yeah, Nasir has like no movement at all. Tiburn, our partner, is just gonna wreck stuff. Those dragons are gonna be tough. What's going on now? Soldiers escaping. Phew, I thought as much when I first snuck in here, but this really is an unbelievable place. What is in Ashera's name is going on? Why are all these crazed lagoos creeping about? Hmm, oh, you don't like this, eh? Uh, neither do I. This helmet and armor are horribly restrictive, you know. What? I forgot all about this. Yeah, I haven't changed much, and you knew it was me back there right away, didn't you? I'm glad you survived. It's very good to see you again. Now, on to the problem at hand. We went to the trouble of escaping that tower, so I'd hate to end up a meal for one of these insane cousins. Our objective is to rendezvous with Nia Lucci. Here we go, Leanne. Hold on tight. Hold on tight to your dream. Man, I want to listen to that song now. I'm coming for you, cat! 27 times 2. Good job, Nephany! Yeah, I'm really curious to have that conversation with Nintendo Capri Sun. Um, just see if he's willing to talk about it at all. I don't want to like push the topic too much, but this might be stupid. Coming all the way in range of these units. Suddenly, the enemies are actually hurting me. Oh, that's no good. 
but we'll do it anyway. Level 20. Level 20 Janif. sword because uh, we don't want to burn through our good stuff. Let it all come flying in. Let's see here. Soaring. Wait a minute. Getting close to the dragon. It makes me nervous. I remember them being tough. Do we need Soren to clean up the scraps? Well, actually, wait, we don't even need... We can use somebody else. We can use Mist. Yes! Oh, just outside of the range. Can the Ragnall attack... It can. It's a ranged sword somehow. Jeez. Well, I'm glad it's Ike up there and nobody else. Ah, 78% hit chance is not good enough to me. See what happens. Tyborn is a beast. Probably should have equipped Marcia with a spear or something. Uh oh. Holy crap! Uh, now I'm worried. I wasn't expecting that. No damage. 4 HP though, and here comes death. So I got a new strategy. Uh-oh. Yeah, you whiffed. I don't know how you whiffed, but... I got a critical hit with Ike this time, so that dragon was hurt. But no longer am I crossing the trees. Oh, yeah. Ike is unstoppable, dude. Imagine if in Smash Bros. he had the Ragnar. I think he's supposed to. It's just... Oh yeah, HP recovery. What's going on now? What's going on? They're all looking in the same direction. Tiburn and friends, eh? Oh, very good. This will work out nicely. Nestling, we found you at last. Neoluchi, you're here sooner than expected. 
You pushed your old wings to the limit, didn't you? I couldn't be late to the rescue of the dear Lady Leanne now, could I? Oh, what a glorious sight! You look so much like your dear departed mother. Hey, save your tears for later. While Tiburn and the others take care of the enemy, we must escape. Yes, of course, this way. Crud, aren't we going there specifically for her? Roar, it's dragon time. Does the dragon get more movement space? No, it doesn't. This is foolish. But this is smart. Axes level up. That's S-Rank Axes. I don't, I don't know if we have an S-Rank Axe in the convoy or anything. Oh, my tummy's a rumbling, man. Bolting. 33, 92, 74. None of them kill, either. That's a 1 HP scenario. Hmm. Wait for the final chapter before we burn through the bolting. Hoping for a critical, that's why I used the killer lance. Nephany just keeps on being middle of the road, letting me down. Nah, she's doing alright. Renolf just leveled up. Level 18. More damage and more hit percent chance. Wait a minute, what about this dragon? Aha, see? Good thing I checked. Because otherwise where I was about to go would have been... Oh yeah, what a time to get a critical. That's beautiful. We gotta do something about these impen impending crows or uh, hawks, whatever they are. Oh, those are crows down there. That's a hawk. I really like Leith. She might be my new favorite unit next to Mia and Zyhark and stuff. Hmm, thanks to the boots we can reach this dragon. It with these dragons running around having any kind of HP loss. Man, 
That's a lot of damage. That cat is good. Possible I could have done Mia and Soren in one, but oh well. It's a turn we gotta wait out. Oh, Tyrant one shots that thing that was No Thank you. Please. Oh, jeez. Yeah, these lagoos are definitely ranked up. Can't double them. They're hurting me. That one, he has the look of a commander. If I can only hit him, well, here goes nothing. What a chunky faced portrait. Oh, no. Oh, no. really needed ether to kick in and it didn't work. Oh, jeez. This is scary. To finish off the dragon or get rid of Sleep McGee here? I kind of want to do that because... If that sleep works, that would be detrimental to everything. be in range of this paladin but oh yeah beautiful thank you mist for the damage that you did Eight times two, pretty much guaranteed to take 20 damage. Holy crap. What about if we tried Oscar? 23 damage, but we do 40 damage. So collectively, we could take out this dragon. Ah, I needed that to trigger second, not first. Oh, well, maybe it'll trigger again. He missed? I'm shocked. Comes the Nephany Criticals. It's like she. It's a roll of the dice with her. Sometimes she's good, other times it's just kind of flat. Can we bow shot? We can. Six times two, and then run off for the kill. So we have one weakened dragon on the field. Leith might be able to take care of it.
Didn't the last boss have a rune sword or one of the last bosses? We might need to do a killing edge here and hope for that critical. Yes. It was 11 damage, so he's... Oh, we got double criticals. That is why we love the killing edge. These dragons are nothing to sneeze at here. Oh, just enough, too. That was a critical. Unnecessary, but I'm still worried about these tigers and cats. Especially with mist. Tybarn might take one out. I don't know what to do with Mist. Do we heal her? Do we attempt to sleep one of the guys? We could try the sleep staff. I like using staves and I, you never have the chance to. With action replay, you can give them way more uses than they have and it's more fun. 31% hit chance on the boss. 100% hit chance on the other guys. But the boss would be better. Actually, yeah, I kind of want to try the boss. Yeah, I guess 31% is not much. Why would you go for that one? gonna go for Boyd because he's got his bow out. Hey, that's good. They're not gonna go for Mist. Beautiful, dude. That is another reason why we love the Killing Edge. You can make a whole video with just like, critical hits and entitle it Why We Love the Killing Edge. See what Nasir can do. 21 times 2. I guess we can L fire uh, the remainder. We got a bonus experience Nasir up to level 22, so that he's really good for the final chapter. Level 18, it's better than nothing. Two times two. What if Leaf tried? Twenty three times two. That's enough. And then we can seize and win. So we beat the chapter, and Marcy is not dead. Nobody can use that. That's like S rank 
thunder magic. There's no sense trying to get experience because most people are level 20 and don't need it anymore. Renolf and like Nephany are the only ones and they can't reach. So we are done. Ike, any sign of her? No, I don't see her anywhere. Leanne, where have you gone? Hello, everyone. Are you having some sort of problem? Nasala! Oh, King Kilvis, how nice. I believe I have what you seek right here. Leanne, you're safe. You rescued her? Listen and listen good. I don't want there to be any misunderstandings here. It was Tybar, and he forced me to do this. It wasn't any sense of charity or anything. It was a sort of payment for the debt I had incurred. I knew choosing you would pay off. Excellently done. Flatter me all you like, Hawk King. You'll get nothing in return. As promised, the Duke Tannis account has been completely settled. Yes, as agreed. Well, then I take my leave of you. There's no need to rush off, is there? Since you've come all this way, why not stay and help us with King Dayan? What a splendid idea. What? Enough of your nonsense. I prefer to keep my life intact, thank you. Listen to me, Leanne. I have no good reason to fight the King of Dayan. No good reason? And what about your fellow Kilvins? King Dayan has taken their natural identity and warped it beyond repair. They left Kilvis of their own accord. How far should my responsibility for them extend? You. I hate to interrupt, but... What is it, Nasir? I have something I want to show you all. Will you please come below? This tower has a basement? We just discovered a hidden staircase. Let's go. What is that smell? It is corruption. It's too dark to see anything. We need light. What is this? Oh, by the goddess. What is this? Nasir, answer me. Renolf? Lagoos. At one time, they were Lagoos. Oh, this is so horrible. I hope Renolf and the others, others are all right. They behaved as if nothing had happened, but I could sense they were in pain. That dungeon was the most vile thing I have ever seen. I'm glad you weren't there. Was it that bad? It was barbaric beyond description. There were more Lagoos corpses than we could count. They had been tortured, twisted, and warped beyond recognition. Why would Ashnar do such things? What could be his purpose here? Ina. The king called powerful Bjork to his cause, but he had to see if they were worthy. He would test them by pitting them against those Lagoos. Ashnar considers Lagoos to be tools in his service to his own mad ends, nothing more. They are instruments to be used as he sees fit. I heard that he ordered his scholars to perform all kinds of experiments. They used elixirs to drive them mad and keep them locked in their changed states. Their lifespans were much shortened, but for a brief time they became extremely powerful. They... Thank you for telling us. Thanks to you we found Leanne. You're free now. You can do whatever you like. I will go to the capital. Please accept me into your army. You don't have to do that. Fighting against your former companions could prove difficult. Take me with you. There is something that I have to do. Please, Master Ike. I ask it of you as well. Please. I understand. Let's fight together. General Ike, the army has arrived at the outskirts of Melior. We await your deployment orders, sir. Very well, tell the man to stand down and await my command. At last, we face the King of Dan. Yes, the war is coming to an end. It appears so. Is there something bothering you? No, of course not. It's nothing like that, but... But what? Some of the soldiers are saying that when the war is over, their chances for promotion will dry up. They want to continue fighting, even though Crimea and Dayan too have suffered so much? No, that's not what I mean. I apologize. I will go inform the men. Wow, that's a lot of bonus experience.
I guess we did do that kind of fast. Well, this is it. At long last, we are on the final chapter. Of course, not to do this time, but... The Crimean Royal Palace, located in the center of Melior, is famed for its beautiful gardens where the world seems at peace. But times have changed. Countless battles have raged in these idyllic confines, and a new Dark Lord now sits upon the throne. The palace itself has not suffered. It remains a study in dignity and elegance. Yet there is no peace on this day. A grim tension fills the air, engulfing all it touches in deafening silence. Within the heart of this palace sits the author of this war, Ashnard, King of Dayan. Ike, Supreme Commander of the Crimean Army, and Alincia, Princess of Crimea, have completed their battle preparations. Now they spend a tense morning waiting for the decisive battle that will conclude their year-long odyssey. They wait for the beginning of the end. End game repatriation. So yeah, Nasir is here. We got to give him bonus experience. Let's go ahead and read the info stuff because it's the final chapter. I've brought her, Nasir. I'm sorry, missed. I knew how much the medallion meant to you and I stole it nevertheless. No matter the words I used to apologize, I did something unforgivable. I gained your trust in Ike's and betrayed it. Then I compounded my dishonor by fleeing. I'm so very sorry. Thanks for coming back, Nasir. I wanted to see you again, and I'm glad I did. Welcome back. Mist, I don't deserve your kindness. Mist, please allow me to apologize as well. I'm the one who is truly at fault here. What Nasir did, he did for me. I'm sure there's some very important reason for all this, and it's probably still unresolved. I'm honestly quite curious, plus I want to help, but I doubt that I can. So I'm going to wait. I've decided to wait until the two of you can tell me about whatever it is, so you don't need to worry about it anymore, all right? Thank you, Mist. Thank you. So tomorrow's the day we take on the capital. I'm ready. It doesn't matter how hard the fight you're facing might be, I always feel excited the night before. I'd like to tell you how wrong that is, but I can't. I can't seem to calm my nerves either. We're going to win, you know. King Dan won't survive the day. Hmm, I wonder. Are you two on guard duty? Oh, it's you. Hey, Ike. Do you have some need of the king? Yeah, will you tell him I'm here? We will wait here. So tomorrow it is. Did you come by to check on our preparations? You know me too well. You're going to circle the capital and ensure that no airborne enemies escape. That's clear, isn't it? Yes, I think encircling the capital is a good idea. We'll guard the west and take care of the airborne combat as well. The Phoenicius and Kilvis armies are unbeatable in that regard. Kilvis is going to help out? Of course. After what we saw in the dungeons of Gitney Tower, we all agreed that King Ashnard must pay. Rayson and Leanne helped sway certain opinions. It was tough, but in the end, we understood what needs to happen. That having been said, the crows are traitorous by nature. If worse comes to worst, it may just be us hawks out there. That will be enough. At least I know I can rely on you. Well, I'll be perfectly honest. I wouldn't mind a chance to remove Ashnard's head from his shoulders. It's just like the time I fought the Black Knight. You're being kept away from the main fight. My apologies, Hawk King. That's all right, but if you find yourself overwhelmed, give me a call. Understood. And as for you, Rayson, I'm sure you're tired of hearing this. I know, be careful, don't die. Don't worry, I won't die. I'm not going to leave Leanne and my father all alone. Nestling, it appears they're discussing tomorrow's battle. Shouldn't you join them? No, I think not. It's just Tiburn, after all. He doesn't really want help from Kilvis anyway. The Hawk King may not care, but Prince Rayson would surely feel that you had betrayed him yet again, Nestling. What? Oh, and dear Lady Leanne as well, if you were to flee in the face of the enemy, it would break her heart. It would be so sad. 
senile old crow you think if you bring those two into it I'll do as I've been told this war has been waged for over a year but it could all be over midday tomorrow how do you feel like think we'll win we'll win I knew you'd say that you don't fool me anymore but even so I appreciate your bravado tonight without such courage it would be impossible to face King Dayan Master Gifka, what are you doing here? The king felt uneasy knowing you were here on your own. I come in his name. So are you going to fight with us? That is my purpose. That is, if Lord Ike grants his permission. Of course. The Dayan army is large, so we're going to be attacking them from the front and holding the two eastern gates. I'd be very appreciative if you were to agree to take command of that front. If that is your wish, I can but agree. What's this now? You weren't satisfied with the work I was doing? I mean, I know that I'm no Master Gifka, but please. Renolf, I want you to be with me, is that all right? Oh, now I see. Sure, that would be fine. Getting to be part of the main pack is the highest of honors. Master Gifka! It's been a long time. How is the king? He's in good health. The king has given me a message for you two. A message, not orders? That's right. He said to be sure you make it home alive. And then he said that your work in this past year has been most satisfactory and that he's sincerely grateful to you both. That's such an honor. We have fought hard, but it wasn't a bother. Ike and the others are a good Bjork. We are happy to fight with them. I see. All right, support conversations. Missed and people were not using. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Next time might be a long video because it's the finale, but take care.